this first example let us see so here what is the same uh, orientation we are having the same orientation let us try to draw the rough sketch okay then we will make the dimensions according to this particular sketch which is given okay. so let's try to draw it on the frontal plane you normal to it okay let's try to make from here okay so from this place always as much as possible you try to use any one point on the horizontal line or vertical line or origin if you are placing it on the origin it will be really useful it is easy to constrain the other components okay so from here there is an inclined line horizontal line then inclined line then it is coinciding with the same point and join it over here okay so you are having something similar to this you can see it over here you can see this one is similar to this okay so whenever you have drawn first you have to understand one thing that which is the biggest dimension that you try to draw which is outermost dimension that first you try to provide it then provide the inner dimensions so here 240 is this dimension so let us try to provide that okay. so this dimension is 240 it will proportionately change okay. and this dimension is 88 and this dimension is 64 along the vertical direction okay this dimension is 88 okay so here it is 88 and from this point to this line from this point to this point along the horizontal along the vertical direction it is 64 and this distance from this point to this point it is having a distance of 64 from this point to this point in this direction it is 64 and this is 88 so this distance it is 88 and this distance it is 100 this is given as 100 So we have drawn the outer boundary. Okay. Now we need to draw these two circles. Whenever you need to mention the two circles, first you have to identify the center. Okay. Based on that center only you can able to define. Okay. So you can see here this center is defined by this 72, and the center distance is here, and this 72 is here. Okay. So, if you want to define this circle, first we have to define this particular circle. Okay. First, let us draw this circle, which is of diameter 42. Okay. Let's draw a circle, which is of diameter 40. Okay. Then, still it is in blue color. The reason is that it is not a fully constrained feature. Okay. So, what you have to do? You have to define this 72 and 40 okay so let's define this distance as 72 and this distance as 40. you can see that it becomes black color okay. now let's try to define this circle so one more circle is there let's try to draw now, what is the diameter of the circle given? It is 64. Okay. So 64 is the dimension. 64. And try to provide the distance between this center and this center along the horizontal, which is 96. Okay. So between this point, sorry, I have to select the dimension. 
between this point and this point along the horizontal direction is 96 and along the vertical direction from this edge it is 72 okay so from here to this center it is 70 okay now you got the sketch 